practical, some application of space uh, network softwareization uh, that uh, we, we published uh, in papers uh, co-authored by myself and other authors uh, just to see how can uh, we do and how can I, I did the cooperation with other authors in the field. Uh, one of the first uh, uh, example, uh, example was uh, the SDR-based uh, uh, localization, IDA localization. Uh, indeed, uh, as, as you know, uh, the, the GPS, but also the Galileo services, uh, are not uh, efficient in uh, in uh, in indoor environment uh, or uh, in, uh, in 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 the presence uh, of something that allows uh, the direct uh, line of sight connection between uh, the localization terminal and the, and, and the localization satellite. In this case. Uh, we could resort uh, to, the, to, to the terrestrial localization. But the terrestrial localization is not as precise as the satellite one. So uh, in this paper that, has been, that is focused on application related uh, to emergency communications where localization, uh, emergency services that where localization is a, a must, uh, Instead uh, of uh, switching to terrestrial uh, uh, localization, we, we have we have tried uh, to uh, exploit uh, the software defined radio in order to uh, help uh, to help uh, uh, the, 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 the a, a terminal that, that cannot uh, transmit correctly its position by transmitting and processing information coming from a satellite that, that, that can be, that can receive its information. So substantially we have, uh, for instance, uh, one GPS antenna placed on the, on, 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 on a top roof and the other one that is the hiding receiver that can that can receive uh, the, the, the satellite signal, and another receiver that is uh, in a light indoor condition. So this re the receiver uh, cannot receive efficiently the, the localization information. The idea is, uh, is to implement uh, with SDR, uh, with software fine radio, is in a system an, uh, an arrangement where the, uh, the uh, position, the uh, light, uh, the light indoor uh, terminal that cannot uh, 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 acquire correctly the signal is uh, aided by this terminal, and so using this information uh, can uh, also adjust uh, can. Uh, regenerate uh, the information related to, 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 to its uh, position. So the, the information exchange and processing uh, between the uh, aided, uh, the aiding and the aided receiver is totally implemented in software. And the results uh, that we obtained uh, looks uh, excellent. Uh, so in case uh, of uh, uh, the, 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 of uh, not acquired uh, information without the, the support of the aiding receiver, the terminal produces substantial noise. But in case of, of, AD, of, of SDR AD, a, a, a aiding uh, localization, results are much better. Uh, this project was, uh, this uh, paper of the project uh, uh, to a project funded some years ago about emergency communication. Another example related to the SDR is, uh, is uh, 
uh, reported in a, in, in a much more recent paper published the last year uh, in, uh, in, uh, at the IEEE Aerospace Conference in cooperation with some colleagues of mine uh, of the University of Brasov uh, in Romania uh, related to the implementation of uh, a satellite uh, of, a, of, of a gateway for uh, uh, ma ma machine to machine uh, uh, communication and the IoT applications. A recent development about uh, IoT is the Internet of Remote Things, uh, IORT, where uh, substantially the sensors are dispersed uh, in wide areas uh, and uh, uh, and, and have necessity to forward the information at, uh, at a long distance. Uh, and so uh, the, the gateway, the satellite gateway, should collect, uh, should collect uh, the information coming from the sensor and forward it to the satellite. As you know, the sensor communicated, the, the wireless sensor networks have different modality of communications depending on the user, the protocols, on the rate, and so on. And this uh, gateway is totally reconfigurable in order to tune itself uh, on the basis of the communication mode, the presence in the, in, 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 in the air. And, and, and this is uh, the, the, the experimentation uh, was uh, promising uh, with, with, with um, published in the Aerospace Space Conference of 2019 and uh, a, a paper extension uh, on a journal is, uh, is, is on the way. Another example of space network softwareization is related to a typical 5G application uh, uh, based on millimeter waves. Remember that uh, last, uh, on, on Tuesday I've spoken about uh, the bulk download uh, of multimedia information uh, uh, in few seconds. For instance, the download of uh, movies in DVD quality in 20, 30 seconds uh, by means of the information shower working the millimeter waves. In a recent paper, published last year at PIMC, we considered uh, the integration uh, using uh, software defined networking uh, of uh, short range segments, uh, network segments uh, belonging to the uh, short range uh, broadband wireless tires, the information showers, with uh, broadband satellite connections. Uh, the broadband satellite connection implemented uh, in the millimeter wave uh, could theoretically allow uh, to download remote contents, contents from remote. Uh, the problem is that uh, we need, in order to, to efficiently implement this arrangement, uh, we need to have intermediate terrestrial nodes uh, and, uh, and uh, 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 in case of failure of the direct uh, communication node uh, from, from the satellite to the closest gateway, to the gateway closest to the showers, we need uh, to resort uh, to, the, to, to, to terrestrial uh, uh, storage of information in some uh, intermediate node that uh, dispatches uh, the flows through the terrestrial network. This kind of arrangement is severely impaired by the latencies, not only of the satellite, but also the latencies of the terrestrial network. Uh, the idea is to manage the entire structure with a, 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 a software-defined network layer placed on top of all the infrastructures. Uh, and, and so this, this new approach uh, actually 
allowed to us to, to significantly improve uh, the throughput and to significantly decrease the latencies in case, uh, for instance, uh, to of some, uh, some interruption of the satellite communication due, linked due to the rain. Uh, another example that we have uh, proposed uh, uh, also for funding uh, to the Italian Minister of Research, uh, but not retailed, it was proposed but not retailed, uh, for reasons that uh, it's better not to explain here, because uh, there was some uh, critical issues uh, that, are th that are subject of, of legal uh, trials, not, not regarding us, regarding other projects not retailed for funding. Some decided to ask, uh, to ask uh, uh, satisfaction to the, to, the, to, to, the, to, to the magistrates. But anyway, apart from this, uh, uh, the idea that we had, uh, that was uh, scientifically assessed as a top, as a top level, it was not funded because they said that uh, the staff uh, had, had not the necessary experience to implement it. The experience was tested uh, not on the basis of the publication, but on the basis uh, of quantitative indexes like uh, the H index. For them, if you have a high H index, you have an expertise. If you have a lower H index, you have not expertise. So, so apart from this, uh, the idea that we had was to manage uh, in transparent manner uh, two different typologies of broadband satellites. The first one uh, is the classical uh, radio satellites uh, uh, working uh, in, the, in the EHF, uh, but the second uh, satellite link uh, that we considered uh, are the free space optical satellites uh, that really uh, boost a lot of capacity <coughs> but uh, with limited availability. Because, uh, as you know, a, a, a light beam is uh, obstructed by the clouds. So in, ca in case of, of cloudy weather, the, the satellite the the FSO satellite is nulled, is killed. In this case, we can resort to, uh, to another kind of satellites. For instance, uh, the radio satellite working uh, in the millimeter wave, uh, whose capacity is a bit lower than that of the free space optical, but uh, anyway, not so, f the, not so far. The idea that we proposed and we preliminary published in this paper is to integrate the two technologies in a unique satellite. So the satellite has two payload, the optical and the radio payload, and to manage them by means of softwareization. How substantially? Uh, for instance, we consider the, the uh, the two typology of link, uh, for instance, the, the radio link uh, in multi-beam and, uh, and the optical link, uh, and uh, an SDN controller should uh, manage the dynamic and transparent switch between one mode and the other mode. For instance, in case of, uh, of a sunny day, it's preferred to, to, to send the, the uplink with the optical link because it provides the capacity like uh, 10 or 20 terabit per second against one. But in case of cloud or fog, we must uh, uh, dynamically switch to the radio link. And, uh, in case of rain, in case of rain, nothing works. No. In case of rain, we, ex we aim to exploit with the same SDN controller the space diversity with the arrangement that, we, that, that has been 
preliminarily considered uh, in, 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 in the paper number 12 cited in, in, in the paper. Uh, the project that we proposed aimed to, to create a unique SDN framework in order to manage in transparent manner all these, uh, these uh, situations and to provide uh, in transparent manner for the user capacities of the order of terabits per second. Uh, uh, I, I, I know that unfortunately this feasibility study has, was not funded, but, uh, but uh, we shall try again. Finally, the last example. The last example is related to the virtualization of resources uh, in a satellite plus drone, uh, plus drone systems for uh, controls of the, for, for, the con for the border control. Uh, the border control became an emergency, in particular uh, in the Mediterranean Sea, but not only here. And the real time intervention is a key factor to save. Uh, human lives. Uh, in a new paper, uh, but uh, related to a funded project, uh, uh, we are studying, uh, the, my, 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 the research group of University of Trento, in cooperation uh, with the Technion uh, of Israel, is studying uh, an advanced border control system based uh, on the integration uh, of, uh, of uh, drones, uh, CubeSats, uh, and ultralight vehicles in order to provide a uh, uh, wide co range uh, border control. The, uh, the sensor communication from, uh, uh, from uh, 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 Earth to, to, to Earth to the drone is managed with LoRa and LTE, LTE for broadband sensors, and the UAVs and satellites should manage the, the, the coverage and the network control. This project has been funded by the, the NATO in the framework of this, uh, and, and the acronym is DAOS, uh, meaning Dynamic Architecture Based on a UAV Monitoring for Border Security and Safety. Uh, the, the basic idea that convinced the NATO, the NATO fund us was to, to, uh, use, to, to use the virtualization in order to share in cloud some resources uh, and to leverage and, 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 and to subtract to the drones uh, some heavy, so some computationally heavy communication tasks. Indeed, the drones uh, are characterized by critical energy consumption. Uh, if the battery of the drones uh,